now what i want to do is now that i have this option okay let's make one more change to it let's go to the product category parameter and now instead of allowing null values what i want i want the user to be select to be able to select all the categories or multiple categories so what i can do is allow multiple values and say okay and then go back to the preview and now you'll get this option over here which says select all so if you just click on it all the categories will be selected And though what we are referring to here is just within the bikes category. Okay. Now what is the issue over here? So again an error has occurred. And why is that, why has this error occurred? Because now we have selected multiple product categories. So let's go back to the design view. And in a report data set, what we have mentioned is product category key is equal to so it's trying to now what we are returning is multiple product category keys it's trying to match one value of one record with multiple values here so what we'll do is let's just remove it now because we're not considering the null value and go to the filters options and see what are our options now we are going to add um, another filter called uh, on the product category key and the value is going to be my parameter value so parameter product category all right okay now this operator what i need to do is change it to it because now i'm passing it multiple values okay now parameter can have multiple values so i need to change it to it and similar change we would have needed to made in the query itself instead of comparing with equal to we should have written n because now we are passing multiple values. Say OK. Go to the preview. And now you make your selection. And do a view report. Now we are getting the error because if you click on this parameter over here, you will see that the data type that you have selected is text. Though we are returning the value as a key column. So that value is actually an integer and then we are trying to make that comparison that filter on the report data where it's trying to compare between this numeric value which is treated as a string because of the data type that we have chosen here and an actual integer value so it's not able to make that comparison so what we now need to do is change this to integer and the available values let's return the product key and say okay and let's go back to our data set properties and now my product category key in the product category values now it should work let's go back to the preview again let's select all the product categories and then specify a particular product and then do a view report so now we are able to get that result all right so it is important as we have seen to mention the correct data type over here the data type that you mentioned over here should be the one that you are returning in your value field so though we are displaying the category name which is a textual attribute the value that we are returning is a value field called the product category key and that's why the data type is, in, is important over here. The data type that we are going to return should be an integer. Okay.